Hey you, my name is Stefan Omerovic, aka Omerko, and I'm self-taught web developer. I created this course for all of you who are currently learning HTML and CSS and wants to learn more regarding CSS3. In this course, you will learn how to create CSS3 loading animations. Those will give you enough knowledge so you could start creating your own animations. Through this course, you will learn how to create uh, simple circular animations, block animations, bubble animations, bouncing ones, and much more. As you saw, this course is totally free, so if you wish to contribute, you can go on my YouTube channel and click subscribe, as I am posting new content every week. Also, on my YouTube channel, you will find this whole course uh, as a playlist, but without me teaching you, just a simple and speed-coded versions of it. Now, let's go to animation number one. Okay, so here we are with our first animation, just a simple circular loader, as you could see. Let's just jump into code and explore it. Okay, so this will be my setup for all the lessons in this course. So there will be the HTML, CSS files, that's the all that we need for this course. And uh, also CSS uh, loaders, uh, the preview of those on the right side, right? So let's just jump uh, into coding, right? For this part here, uh, we will need the loader wrapper, which we will use to center out, uh, to center our loader uh, on a screen and also we will create one more section that will be called loader this section will be loader itself right so in a CSS I will first put some styling on the, all the elements I will put the padding to 0 pixels and margin to 0 pixels from that point I will go to a body and I will just put the background color on our body, it will be something like this 9C88 uh, FF. Okay, so if I refresh the page, uh, there it is. Now I will style our loader itself. So for the loader, we will, uh, we will first put the width of it to 100 pixel and height to 100 pixel. And if I refresh the page, there, well, there is basically nothing on the screen still. Uh, to see something, I will put uh, border, 3 pixels solid, uh, it will be, well, let's just put a, a white one for this part. And if I refresh the page, yeah, there you could see, right? So there is 100 in width and 100 in height. Now let's move this square into the center of our screen. So as you remember, I created the loader wrapper, and that, uh, that one we will use uh, to center our loader on the screen. So I will position absolute this loader and I will uh, put the top position to 50% from the top and left position to 50% from the left. So now it is moved top from 50 and left from 50. So I will just uh, move it back uh, by this corner here so it will be in center of the screen. I will do that by transform and I will translate x by minus 50% and translate epsilon by minus 50%. Okay, so there it is. So now let's go back on the loader itself. So I will put the border radius on a uh, loader. Border radius. It will be 100%. Yeah, we have that nice circle. Uh, but we don't really wish to have the whole circle. As you saw on the, in the beginning of this video, we wish to have that uh, one line to the top, right? So uh, instead of border, the full border, I will just put the border top and that part will do it, right? You could see now, now here. So uh, now to the animation itself. Animation will be keyframes and uh, we will call this animation spin. This name is uh, basically custom, so you could put your own, but I will go for the spin as uh, the animation is spin animation. So we will uh, have the two states of our animation. One state is for 0% and the second state is for 100%. Basically, this is the beginning of our, uh, our, sorry, our animation and this is the end of our animation. For beginning, I will put transform to rotate by 0 degrees. And for the end, I will put the transform to rotate to 360 degrees. If I refresh the page, there will be nothing. Literally, why? Because we created the animation but we didn't use it. So to use animation we must use a CSS property on the loader 
called animation and we will put first the spin name uh, from the animation right so it will know to use uh, to you to which animation to use and it will be one second animation right it will spin the one second uh, from zero to 100 percent and then uh, the animation will be linear it could be easy and easy out uh, and stuff like that or you could use some uh, custom cubic base air in that point and the animation will run uh, not a couple of times but infinite okay so it will run all the time basically if i refresh the page there it is right okay this is all the code that we need for this uh, animation animation run in this course and this is the, la the last state of our animation now let's explore second animation okay so here we are guys as you could see again circle loaded but this one has that pause and play style as you could see those let's code it as usual on left side code on right side preview for an html we will have that section that would be called loader well that will have class of loader and inside we will have a section that will be called loader ring we will use a ring for that uh, circular part the ring will have four parts so like uh, four borders let's say like that and there will be just the uh, divs themselves nothing special so i will copy this to have four of those for a css part i will first do some uh, default styling zero pixels for padding and for margin also zero pixels and for body uh, i will put some background color uh, background color and that part will be f1c4of like a uh, yellow color so when i refresh the page there it is okay so now we will first grab our loader loader and we will put the width and height to it of 100 uh, pixel and height will be also 100 pixel as loader won't be visible right now we will move it uh, in the uh, in the center like in the last video right so position will be absolute then top and, le uh, and left will be 50 percent move left also 50 percent uh, then we have uh, to transform that uh, backwards a bit translate x to minus 50 percent and translate epsilon to minus 50 percent so okay so let's now we should have that loader in center of the, our page and for the now we will grab that loader ring, uh, ring and style that part so class of loader ring will be styled like this we will first uh, display it like in line block line block and we will put uh, position relative so it will be a relative position uh, uh, inside of the loader the, itself uh, we will also put the width to its 75 pixel and height also to 75 pixel so that loader ring won't go uh, away from that loader as it is positioned relative and inside and uh, those borders will stay in this uh, width and height of the loader ring so let's style the divs themselves inside of loader ring, ring so that uh, those borders right so loader ring and every div inside every section inside first of all we will box size that so it will be box sized to the border box it won't go away uh, from that box and we will display that those as blocks uh, we will now uh, position those as absolute position will be absolute and the width will be uh, 70 pixel inside of the loader ring and the height will be 70 pixel of, uh, of each of those uh, uh, divs inside why did we position absolute so they will basically stack on each other they won't be they won't be one next to each other but stacked inside of the loader ring and uh, now we will put the border to six pixel so it will be a bit thicker than the last video and ff ff right so let's see this now so you could see that there there is a border of six pixels and there is that uh, div itself now if i remove the absolute from this part here and i refresh the page you could see there are four divs there 
Y4, where we have four jibs inside of the loader rig. And when we put back that absolute position, it will absolute position one above the uh, another, right? So it will be stacked to each other. So now let's uh, put the radius to this border. So border radius to 100%. Yeah, that's a circle. And also we will put the border color, border color, and it will be same color as uh, border, uh, but uh, for the first part, the top part, and the rest of the parts will be transparent, so everything else will be transparent. So that's it. We have the top color above, the, above here uh, the, that is white, and the rest of it is transparent to our background, right? For all of four jibs, so yeah. And now uh, let's go to animation. For animation, we will use the same animation as last time. So keyframes of spin. We will uh, make a name of that this animation spin. So it will be zero percent. Also, the there will be two states zero and one hundred percent. As we will have the beginning and the end of that. And what we will translate on a zero is uh, uh, well same as last one so transform uh, rotate and uh, from zero degrees to transform rotate to 360 degrees full circle right so if i use this animation now on those divs that we have animation animation uh, spin one second as last time obviously uh, infinite now you remember that last time we used the uh, uh, here linear uh, let's now use a cubic base here so you could see also cubic base here how it looks with the uh, animations and stuff like that we will use 0 0.5 0 and uh, 0 0.5 also and uh, 1 at the end so how this looks take a look now yeah you can see so can we change this cubic base here how it will look let's just inspect element uh, let me shrink this a bit, open up body, div, and the divs inside, right? So there is a cubic base here, if I click this icon here, it will open up the cubic base here, how it looks, right? So if we move this here like this, you can see that animation will change, can you see it? Yeah, this animation looks totally different, obviously. So you could, cho you could choose how you wish to move your animation by this cubic base here. But we will go out, go and use this one here. So to get the same animation that you saw on start with the pause and uh, uh, with the pause and uh, also the play with those borders, right? That one will be shrink down, one will be longer. We will use uh, any animation delay, but we won't use on all the divs. We will use on each div separately. So I will grab the loader ring and div with uh, child mph child. That will be the whichever I wish to choose inside. I will first use the first div inside, and I will I will use animation delay on it. And for animation delay, we will use the minus 0 0.45 seconds. So if I refresh the page, you could see that there is the second border that is uh, that is moving differently from the rest of the borders divs, right? So I will use uh, two more times this uh, animation delay. I will use for the second and third also. For the second, I will put 0.3 seconds, and for the third, I will put 0.15 seconds. If I refresh the page, there it is, right? So, and as you could see, uh, we have that uh, a little bit of empty space here. So I will move this uh, spin animation to be not one second, but 1.2 seconds, and that should be fine. Yeah. Okay, so this is the part of the code that you needed for this animation. And this is the animation that we have. Let's now jump to the third one. Animation number three. So, as you could see, we are not uh, styling, again, another one, circular animation, but this is a kind of bar animation. So, let's go into code and explore it. So, for the, uh, this animation, we just need one section, and we will call it loader. And we will do all the stylings on, those section, on that section. So, first of all, let's just use some default styling, like padding of 0 pixel and margin of 0, zero pixel. And I will also style my body to take up that uh, uh, green color. So 
it's a 0d c 5 c 1 and if I refresh the page that's it okay so as you saw we have just one section and uh, we have three bars that we need to create so how will we manage that so we will create uh, also uh, a content on before and after elements on our loader section so we will use a loader loader then we will also use a loader uh, before and also we will use a loader uh, after element so we will put the background color on those like uh, to be white and we will put the width of our bars to be 10 pixels and height to be 40 pixels for example right so when i refresh the page you can see there is one bar here so this bar here is just the loader bar there is no content for loader before and after elements still so we will first move this bar into center so we must grab our loader and we will position absolute on that then from top move it by 50 pixel and from left move it by 50 pixel we will also need to transform it backwards a little bit for translate text minus 50 percent not pixel sorry and translate the epsilon minus 50 percent so now that we have our bar in center i will move uh, our before and after elements so i will create a, a loader before and i will use a loader loader after and i will put uh, content on those to be empty so this should create uh, bars but those are not visible as we didn't move those around so i will also position absolute loader position absolute loader before and after elements and i will put top to zero uh, is there anything here nothing so how will we manage this as it is moved to zero and it is stays here basically it's stacked on our loader so we will grab first the loader before and we will, we will move it uh, to left side by doing left minus 50 pixel so there it is that's our before element we will do similar thing with our after element after but we will move it 15 pixel to right side from left to right there it is cool now at this point we could also work with our animation so i will use keyframes and i will call this animation mode so this animation should have uh, four states three of those four states are the same basically so at zero percent uh, and also 80% and 100% we will have the same styling so that styling should be uh, we should change the height of our bars to 48 pixel and also we will style a box shadow why box shadow so 0 and 0 so uh, as we are changing the height of our bars the bars will change to, to bottom right and uh, if we wish to also to jump a little bit to the top we must use that box shadow so uh, that will be on our uh, for our three states but the fourth state uh, will be 40 percent and uh, we will style a height to 60 pixel 60 uh, pixel and box shadow will be uh, 0 and uh, minus 24 pixel for example or even minus 30 never mind let's go with 24 if you wish to use this load i will copy that load animation and i will use it here animation load of one second and easy and out i will put it and infinite it will go infinite so it, it looks like this right so uh, it's kind of jumping like box shadow is jumping to top and the bottom part is jumping to bottom so uh they are, they are jumping at the same time so we must use a delay also so we will go to loader and use animation animation uh, delay delay and we will use it to minus 0 0.16 seconds and for as we delayed this part we also need to delay the, the before element so i will use the same thing just not at the same time uh double more basically 32 so this is how it looks right it is jumping to the top obviously so uh, to not jump at the top at all you can see uh, and just to move those box shadows around we must uh, use something like this we will go to loader and we will use a 
transform uh, translate z to zero to none basically okay so it won't move to tap at all like so uh, to have that color on a box shadow we will use a color of uh, FFF right so the box shadow should be color now but we cannot see it let me investigate oh yeah we have this uh, uh, minus away from the 24 so if I refresh it there it is maybe 24 is even big enough so we will put the, the 20 so yeah that's it that will be all for this this animation so let's go to fourth one okay so as you can see uh, we have the similar animation as the last one for the fourth animation here instead of bars we will use the balls so let's go okay so as it is similar animation we will use just a uh, one section of the loader and we will do stylings on those so we will first grab all of our content on the screen and we will put padding to zero pixel and margin also to zero pixel and body we will color that up up so background color we will set it to be six eight six d e zero it should be purple now yep so as we had for the last video we, we styled the loader then the loader before element uh, then a uh, loader after element right we will use that for this one also so width of those balls will be 50 pixel and height will be also 50 pixel uh, 40 pixel sorry so border radius we will set that border radius to be 50% so it will create those circular balls so we won't see those balls at all uh, why because we didn't color those we won't color those we will color those with our box shadow so we cannot see those at all currently but we can move those and work with those so we will uh, style the loader now and we will position that up so as we wish to move it in the center of our screen we will move it to top 50% and left 50% and also transform translate x minus 50 percent and translate epsilon minus 50 percent okay still nothing but let's say just that it is in center of our screen what will we create more for this we will also trans uh, uh, translate z at this point translate z of zero as we had for the last video so color for our box shadow will be white but balls still not visible as we are not using box shadow at all so uh, we will now style uh, loader uh, loader before and after content so we will not style but we will create the content for those so position will be absolute and all of those will be at the top of the, our main ball our loader ball and the content will be empty so content will be same as this one here so to move those balls we first need to use the before element or our ball main ball and we will move it from left to minus 56 pixel and for the right one the after element after we will just move it to plus 56 pixel so at this point i think that we could create our animation so keyframes we will name it low and we will at 0%, 40%, uh, well not 40, but 80%, and 100%, it will be same, uh, same as uh, the last animation, we will have 4 states. So, for these 3 states, we will have box shadow to be 0, then 40 pixel, why 40, we have width and height of 40, so it will be 40, then 0, and minus 20 pixel. The half of our uh, ball so and for the fourth state at uh, 40 percent we will have a box shadow of zero then 40 pixel then zero and zero we will copy this load come to this section here and we will use animation load uh, 1.5 seconds for example uh, easy in and out and infinite reload yep there it is right if we put it even faster it will, should be nicer okay so we have the balls but they are not they are moving at the same time so what will we create here 
we will go to our loader section here and uh, the first, the main ball and we will put uh, animation delay delay and it will be uh, minus 0 0.16 uh, seconds and we will copy this and go to before element and we will put it to be double up of time to minus uh, 0 0.32 seconds and then when I refresh the page there it is our animation is finished so this will be all for this video let's go into the next animation so you could see it so for our fifth animation as you could see it looks kind of circular animation but there is 12 bars that are circling around and forming a full circle so let's go into code and explore it so first of all html for this animation uh, we will start with the loader section and we will have uh, 12 different uh, divs inside well not different th those are the same but uh, th those are forming our bars that we have 12 different bars that will finally uh, form a circle around right so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? So, for a start, nothing on our page. So, first of all, we will do some uh, default styling as usual. So, padding 0 pixel, margin 0 pixel. So, I will color also a body. So, let's give it uh, a bit uh, grayish color. So, background color, uh, eight, uh, 7F, 8 c 8 b okay so now for our loader our main wrapper uh, we will grab that loader loader so we will first put color inside to be fff so every content inside will be uh, white uh, and also as usual we will position that uh, content to be inside of our se in the center of our screen right our animation will be in center so position absolute top 50 percent left 50% transform translate x minus 50% translate epsilon minus 50% next part that circle full circle will be uh, 64 uh, pixel in width and also uh, 64 uh, pixel in height so and that's it right now I will grab all of our divs inside of our loader that we have this and I will just put transform uh, origin transform origin to be 32 pixels and also 32 pixels so it will start at the half of width and half of height of our uh, well of our circle full circle that we have our loader right so those div divs will start at that point so we won't start the divs themselves to have uh, them, those uh, lines or bars call it as you wish we will uh, use after uh, content inside of those divs that we have so loader div after right and here we will first put content uh, to be empty as we will create our own i will also display uh, those after blocks to be blocks right and so now i will put position absolute and i will move those around inside of this div right inside of each div that we have so uh, it will be moved from top to 3 pixels and from left to 29 pixels so it will give some spacing there so also width of our uh, our bars will be 5 pixels and height will be 14 pixels and we will be uh, pretty much satisfied with this if i refresh the page nothing will be on our page but uh, when i put the background color on those uh, after elements to be white and uh, let's see now there are those right those are 12 of our elements stacked on each other you remember this on my different uh, animation for a uh, bar animation we, we saw something similar and i will just put border radius uh, radius to 12 per uh, percent to uh, 20 percent so they will give it a bit of border it, there will be it will look a lot nicer when we have that full, full circle so to have that full circle we must uh, move each of those uh, borders a bit uh, to the right right so or to the left uh, depending on which rotate we will, uh, we will use so i will grab a loader and the div i will grab my uh, nth child and first div so we will do this for all 12 of our divs that we have so transform will be rotate uh, by zero degrees this first will stay in the same position like this right so when i copy this part of the code and i come here 
uh, for the second I will put 30 degrees and as you can see the second one is moved a bit here so now when we move all of the rest of our divs it will form uh, that circle that we need so next part 3 to 60 to 60 degrees this will be a bit boring but uh, yeah that's how it is so 4 to 90 degrees <laughs> 90 degrees yeah you can see that it is forming a circle hit 120 6 150 as it is a bit boring uh, uh, you could just uh, copy paste and uh, jump uh, through the through the video but uh, if you wish you could stay on it and also there will be uh, at the end you will get that uh, cool animation that we really need we, we wish to have here so 210 i'm moving this by 30 degrees on every element as you can see so 240 degrees for the temp we will lose uh, 270 we have 11 of those so 300 and for the last one 12 uh, 330 and there it is full circle right so now to create that animation we will need to well make opacity on those to disappear and appear from time to time so how will we do this i will go here and use a key frames key frames load to create the animation and it will have two states uh, on starting an, uh, for start of animation and uh, finishing on, on that right so uh, when we first see the bar it will be visible so opacity will be one and uh, uh, on the end of animation it will be zero let's use this animation so you can see it fully so i will come to our loader div, divs inside and i will use animation uh, load and 1.2 seconds uh, it will be linear and uh, infinite right so now there it is you could see that it is disappearing slowly and appearing fast so how will we make those bars to disappear one per one right so we will use that animation delay on each of those uh, nth child divs that we have so an animation delay will be minus 1.1 it will be faster so why minus 1.1 well our animation is uh, 1.2 right so if i refresh the page you could see that this first bar is a bit uh, well uh, we have that uh, delay it's a bit faster than the rest of our uh, bars so we will use this one uh, for each of our uh, divs that we have so and we will make each of those uh, 0 0.1 seconds less so this will be now 0 0.9 seconds i will copy this and i will change that for each of our divs here so eight seven six five four three and finally one for this one we won't use any any delay as it will be 0, 0.0 and that's no point right so there it is right you can see that uh, each of our bars are uh, appearing and disappearing in different time and it will uh, give that the circular loader effect right so fifth animation is done so you are already halfway through the course let's go to the second half and explore five more animations okay so we will start the second half of this course with a simple animation so let's go and do it okay so for this one we need just the one section with the class of div and we are jumping on css so as usual we will first put the padding to zero pixel and margin to zero pixel and we will color our body so it will take that uh, orange color uh, D three five four zero zero. There it is, and we are jumping now on our loader. So first, let's create our loader. We will put the width 
of it to 70 pixel height also to 70 pixel and I will put the background color to be white so we could see it immediately there it is and now I will center it in the middle of our screen so position will be absolute top 50% left 50% and now to transform it backwards trans uh, translate x minus 50% translate the epsilon minus 50% there it is so that's it basically now we can create our keyframes for our animation so keyframes upload so animation will take up uh, for three states basically so at 0% then to 50% and also to 100%, right? So, how will we do this? So, first of all, we will change our uh, perspective. So, transform, and we will work with the perspective, and it will be 100 pixel block here will be moved to 120 uh, pixels. I will show you uh, at the end how it looks and why we did this before. So, at the first part, we will rotate our block by zero degrees and uh, by x and also by epsilon it will be zero degrees so i will copy this part here at the half of our animation the perspective will be the same but it will be moved uh, uh, to minus 180 degrees and uh, at the end of our animation it will be uh, same one minus 180 degrees uh, but it will uh, rotate epsilon will be also moved uh, minus 180 degrees so to, uh, to load up our animation i will use animation on a loader called a load uh, sorry i missed spell that load yeah and uh, now i will do uh, the, our animation will last for 1.2 seconds it will uh, go like is in and out and it will be infinite so when i refresh the page the whole animation is done you can see that the uh, perspective is moved 120 pixels from this point so you could put the backwards a little bit this animation right minus 120 pixels to have it backwards but why we have this perspective so let me show you if i remove the perspective fully from keyframes and i reload my page you can see that the uh, turning point for our uh, block it looks kind of uh, tricky and uh, it looks at some point that the, our block is fully disappearing so by adding the perspective here the perspective will give it that a better look so so for this we created cool animation that is easy and also fast so now we can go to animation number seven okay so number seven as you can see we have two circles that are bouncing in different time basically and they are creating that loading animation so let's go and explore it okay to start off with our html we will need to have a loader section and as we have two circles we will uh, create two sections for that so bounce one for the first and for the second bounce two so this will be our two circles that will bounce that will bounce from time to time so let's go in HD, uh, in CSS. So as usual, padding to zero pixel and margin to zero pixel. And also as usual, body PG color to E15 F41. So okay. Now to color uh, to style our loader. For a loader, loader, we will first. Uh, cr create that loader by putting the width to it and also height to it of 60 pixel right so it looks kind of block so but uh, now we will also position that in the center as uh, for every of our loaders we did so top to 50 percent left to 50 percent and transform translate x minus 50 percent and translate epsilon minus 50 percent Okay, so as I, uh, if I reverse the page, nothing will be on the screen because we didn't color our loader at all. So now we will style our uh, bouncing circles. So I will grab my bounce one and bounce two, bounce one, and also bounce two sections. Those sections are uh, circles, right? So we will put width 
on those to 100% and height on those to 100%. So uh, they will take up the whole width of loader, so 60 and 60 pixel, right? So BG color of white, FFF, yeah. If I refresh the page, you can see that we have uh, two different, well, one big section, but those are basically two different uh, sections here. Uh, I will also put border radius on those. Uh, so border radius, border radius should be 50%. So now you can see that we have two different circles, right? And I will also put opacity uh, to 0 0.6 or 5, but let's go with 6. Okay, that looks kind of cool. So now I need to stack up those two. So I will uh, position those position absolute and they will be stacked up immediately, right? So I will immediately jump on styling our uh, animation here. So keyframes of uh, bounce as you are creating some kind of bounce uh, uh, animation. Uh, we will have three states, but at the starting point and the end point of our animation, we wish that uh, our circles are uh, not visible and that some kind of at the 50% they will be fully visible. So I will put uh, at 0 and 100% and also for the third state to pick at the half of our animation. So here what we need is uh, we will put transform and we will use a scale method on it. And as I uh, told you, at the at starting point and the end point, uh, the animation won't be visible. So we will use uh, 0, 0 or just a 0. And at the end point, it will be 1.0, right? I will also remove my comma here. And uh, if I uh, refresh the page, well, I need to first to use my bounce animation. I will go to bounce 1 and 2. I will use animation. And uh, we will use bounce to be like two seconds, then easy in and out, and infinite. So if I refresh the page, you can see that uh, we have uh, some kind of bounce here, but uh, it is, uh, well, our two sections are jumping at the same time. So I will grab my bounce tool, bounce tool, and I will put animation delay as usual that we worked on. So I will put to minus one second. So if I reverse the page now, you can see that the whole animation is done, right? Okay, so animation number seven is done. Let's go to animation number eight. Here we are with the next animation. We have that hourglass look. You could see that it's kind of circling around. Let's go with it. Okay, so for this animation, we need just one section. We will call it loader. And we can jump immediately on CSS. So I will set padding to be zero pixel and margin to be zero pixel and I will color our body background color and I will set it to be e to a b a one okay so to style our loader loader uh, I will put the width to be 60 pixel and height to be 60 pixel and I will immediately move it uh, into a center of a screen. So top 50%, left 50%, transform, translate x by minus 50%, and translate epsilon by minus 50%. For now, we won't see anything as we didn't color our body at all. Uh, I will grab a loader and after property element on our loader that we have, I will set content to be nothing as now uh, we will create that hourglass look. So I will display it as block and I will put border radius to be 50 pixels. So to create a circle, full circle. So width of that circle will be zero pixel. Yeah, I know it's kind of silly, but wait a second. So also for the height zero pixel, I will put the margin to be six pixel, of, uh, six pixel for each of the sides and border will play a main role here. I will set to be uh, I will set border to be 30 pixel, the half of our loader, and I will set it to be solid and FFF. Okay, so kinda now when I refresh the page you can see that we have the full circle but with our borders, not with the background colors. So 
to have the tower glass look, I will have a border color and I will set color to be uh, for the top border uh, white one, for the right border transparent, for the bottom will be also white one and for the left uh, border I will set to be transparent. So when I refresh the page there it is our, our glass look, right? So for the animation we will create a keyframes to float and we will have three different states. So first of all at the starting point, then somewhere at the half of our animation and for the end point 100%. For the starting point we will transform rotate uh, by zero, well zero degrees. For uh, half of that uh, animation we will put uh, 900 degrees, so a couple of circles. And for the end 1800 degrees. So when I refresh the page, nothing will happen, we didn't use our animation. So, so to use our animation, I will use animation, upload, 1.2 seconds, linear, and infinite. When I refresh the page, there it is. There's, our glass is circling around, but we don't really wish to have that kind of animation. I will remove this linear, and it will be totally different animation, as you can see. So I will use something called animation, uh, timing uh, and function. That function, well, that is basically that linear that we used, but uh, at this point we will use cubic bezier that you saw a couple videos ago. So I have my numbers here, so I will just use those. So let me uh, uh, retype those so you could see those. And uh, by this, you will see the difference in the animation by this cubic uh, bezier. If you wish, you could change the cubic base here. Yeah, it's up to you, right? 215, then 61, and then 355, and 1. When I refresh the page, yeah, our, our glass is done. We are soon finishing up just two more animation videos. Let's continue. Okay, so here we are with the animation number 9. We have two dots that are circling around, right? So let's code it okay so for this animation we will have a section called loader and inside we will have uh, two dots so dot one and also dot two save and let's go to css for css we will first as usual do some default stylings of zero pixel padding and margin zero pixel then body body to color that body I will background color put on it and uh, it will be EA2027 so there it is that red color so for loader I will grab my loader loader and first let's put it in center so top 50% and left 50% and also transform it translate X minus 50% and translate epsilon minus 50% so now I will put width and height on it, so width of 40 pixel and height 40 pixel also. So now we have our loader but it's not visible as we didn't put any color on it and we want as we will first style that one and that two, that one and also that two. So for these two I will first put width and height on those, width of 60% and height of 60% so they will take the height the 60% height of the width and height of the loader right and next part we will display those as uh, inline blocks and put the position of absolute uh, absolute and the top to be zero so they will kind of be stacked on each other so to present that I will put the background color on those to be white FFF FFF and also I will put the border a radius of 100% so to refresh the page there it is we have one dot but those are two dots that one and that two stacked on each other so for that two uh, we must move that a little bit so that two we will put the top to be auto and bottom to be zero so it will be moved to the bottom and let's see how it looks so now you could see that we have here two dots 
So for our keyframes animations, we will have two of those, one to rotate and one to load our animation. So one will go to the loader and one will go to the dots. So let's, let's create first that uh, rotate. So keyframes of rotate and that will be at 0% we'll put transform rotate by 0 degrees and 100% we'll put transform rotate at three, uh, 360 degrees. Uh, I will use that rotate in my loader, so animation, load, uh, rotate, then uh, uh, it will be two seconds, and uh, linear, linear, and infinite. So let's check it. Okay, so now our two dots are turning around, right? So for load animation, I will create the keyframes also for that keyframes of load and at 0% at 100% we will have a, a transform at a scale of 0 and at 50% we will have transform scale of 1 so when I uh, use my animation on a dots so animation load uh, 2 seconds also linear and infinite but let's not use the linear, let's use easy in and out. Uh, refresh the page. There it is, the, those are disappearing and kind of turning back, right? So to have these uh, separately disappear and the turn, we will just use on that two anim animation delay, right? Animation delay of minus one second. So when I refresh the page, there it is. Animation number nine is done. Let's go to the last animation of this course. So last animation. Good job for coming all the way up to here. As you can see, for this one, we are kind of replicating the animation, loading animation of Windows 10. If you are using Windows 10, you know when you turn on your PC, you kind of get this kind of a animation there, right? Let's code it. Okay, so we'll create a loader section and eight empty divs inside. Why eight divs? Well, we will have eight balls that will... Uh, turn around right so one two three four five six seven eight right four so to style those i will go to, i will first do my uh, basic styling that i do for every video right so margin of 0 pixel and let's put some body color so back in the round color uh 2c 2c 5 4 uh there it is cool let me pull this up. Okay, so first of all, let's put a loader our entire section in center. So position absolute top 50%, left 50%, transform, translate x minus 50%, and translate epsilon minus 50%. Now we will put the width and height of that loader to be 64 pixel, height also 64 pixel. And we will move to style our divs, so loader and every div inside. We will put just for now transform origin of 32 pixel and also 32 pixel. So the animation will start kind of at the half of our loader itself. So to make those balls, we will grab our loader div and after element there on each div, we will put content to none. We will create our own, so display will be black and position absolute to stack those together and now width and height of those balls will be six pixel kind of small right but yeah and uh, we will put background color of uh, white one and also border uh, radius to 50 percent so we should get the balls right now there are those those are stuck together so now starts the boringly interesting part we must move each of those balls around to create at least kind of circle, right? So I will grab a loader, loader, then div, and div with mth child of one, and after. So what will I do for this? As this is already absolute, the whole element is already up absolute position. We can move it by top. I will move this to 50 pixel, and also left by 50 pixel so to refresh the page that one is moved and now we should move each of those right 
separately to create a circle here at least around the rounded corner so i will copy this eight times two three four five six seven eight ten okay so to change this two three four five six okay so now to style each of those okay so here i will use 54 pixel to move it next to the first one and 45 then 57 and 39 then uh, 58 and 32 then 57 again and 25 uh, then it will be 54 and 19 uh, then we will have 50 and 14 and at the end we will have 45 and 10 okay so to take a look yeah now we kind of have that circle around as those are now next to each other we will create our load animation so key key frames of load then at zero percent we will transform rotate by zero degrees and then 100 percent we will transform rotate by 360 degrees and uh, let's use this first we will use it on each div animation uh, load of, uh, of uh, 1.2 seconds it will take 1.2 seconds then here i will use cubic bezier cubic bezier of 0 0.5 0 0 0.5 1 and infinite Mm, there it is so what's left more is uh, to delay those uh, divs to move separately one from another right so for the first div i will use animation delay of uh, minus 0 0.035 seconds if i refresh the page yeah there is nothing uh, specially moved around but uh, you will see when you use uh, all of, all of this for each of those sections so two three four five six seven eight okay so two and for this second we will use uh, 0 0.70 then three 0 0.105 and then four 0 0.140 five 175 6 2 uh, 7 2 25 8 2 70 so let's take a look there it is every individual ball is moving differently now so this is it for this course jump on the last video so you could have your outro right Hey you, thank you for rolling on this course, I hope that you learned something new. Next steps for you would be to code uh, these animations on your own or even update those a bit, as coding daily will put you on the right track to become a web developer. If you wish to contribute, you could go to my YouTube channel and click subscribe as I am posting new content weekly. Also on my YouTube channel you will find this course in a playlist, but without me teaching you just the speed coding version. Thank you and see you in the next course.